In this video, we are going to talk about the bottom part and the wrap settings for the supports. The bottom part refers to the part that touches the grid platform. There are multiple shapes for this part, which include skate, cone, cube, cylinder, prison, and none. That is, there will be no shape, and the bottom of the support directly touches the platform. There are also settings like touch diameter, which allows you to change its size, and thickness, that is how thick that part will be. If you have multiple supports, their bottom parts may overlap each other and form a plate. If it's large enough in area, it can work as a raft, and at this time, it's not necessary to add a real raft. The lower section are the settings for the supports, whose bottom ends touch the model surfaces. Its default contact shape is none, which means there will be no contact shape. But you can choose sphere, that is, use a ball shape for the contact part. You can change the diameter of the contact, or its depth, equally how deep it's buried into the model. Moreover, there is a contact point setting. By default, it's set to 1 but you can change it to 2 or 3, and the support will branch out 2 or 3 points onto the surface. Multiple contact points make the support structure more stable, but it will increase your work in clearing the marks left by these additional points. The raft refers to the plate generated at the bottom of the supports and touching the platform. It is used to increase the contact area between the model and the platform. It can also resolve the forces on the supports and make sure they stick to the platform firmly. To ask the software to generate a raft, you need to change the raft shape setting to skate. The raft area is decided by the raft area ratio setting. It is the ratio of the area of the raft to the area projected by the model to the platform. If this value is higher, the raft area will be larger. The raft thickness setting decides how thick the main body of the raft is. If this value is higher, the raft will be thicker. The raft height is basically the height of the outer edges. If this setting is higher, the raft will have higher edges. The raft slope determines the angle between the side planes and the platform. It determines how much the side planes tilt. If this value is higher, they will tilt less. In most cases, you shouldn't set the raft too large or thick. Otherwise, you will have to print multiple layers of large area continuously. And the peeling forces and sometimes gravity will make the raft less adhesive to the platform, which causes the print more likely to fail. 